thank you all for being here. And one must, must ask themselves, crisis after crisis after crisis, the Democrats are in disarray without any question. How does that all translate to the average person living in this country? We've heard about the border crisis, North and South, Afghanistan, taxing and spending crisis. All of that lands on the shoulders of everyday Americans. Everyday Americans in South Carolina, 25,000 farmers asking themselves, how do they transfer their assets and their resources, their land rich and money poor? With this taxing plan, it devastates farmers throughout our nation. You think about the kids living in single parent households in North Charleston, where I grew up, and you think about is the American dream, because of the Biden administration's policies, becoming more elusive to kids who look for leadership, who look for hope? And it's obvious to me that for too many kids in too many places, because of the Biden administration's policies and spending, we're literally making the American dream further and further out of reach for kids who are looking for hope. I think about the, the content. We, we spent a lot of time thinking about the crisis that we're seeing around this nation. And I think about the $3.5 trillion reconciliation vehicle. The price is astounding. It is hard to digest $3.5 trillion after a $1.2 trillion infrastructure plan and a $1.9 trillion COVID plan with less than 10% going to COVID health or COVID vaccines. That spending is just enormous. But you think about what all that spending does to the average person in our country, the, the single mom or the senior on Social Security on a fixed income. When you drive up to the pump and your gas prices are up 40 plus percent and you're on a fixed income, you're, you're starting to think about rationing your food, your energy, or your gas. When your electric bill is up 20%, on that same fixed income, the, the, the impact is devastating. When, you, when we're talking about giving the IRS permission to spy on accounts for every transaction at $600 or more, you're destabilizing one of the greatest systems of commerce in the world, adding $80 billion to double the number of IRS agents to take a look into family businesses, family systems, uh, the amount of devastation being done by the programs and the policies in addition to the price makes this spending crisis an incredible threat to the American dream. The accelerator to socialism can be seen by the policy designs in this reconciliation vehicle. In that crisis, will actually create more crises down the road.